My husband Shane plays uh, guitar and drum, and then I play the hammer dulcimer. My son Adam here playing mandolin and bouzouki primarily, and my daughter-in-law Sarah playing bass and singing vocals. got started because my husband Shane has Irish background and so his mother long ago gave us a mountain dulcimer and as it turns out a lot of Irish music plays nicely on the mountain dulcimer so we just sort of started down that path Historically, you know, Irish music became the old-time mountain music of Appalachia, and then it became bluegrass music, and so we musically have sort of taken that same route and play a little bit of everything. We have a blast playing together. fun. Um, we have a good time. Practices are so much easier because we know schedules and we know uh, behaviors and personalities and mannerisms and so we can really just play off each other a lot easier than it would be having five strangers come together to form a group. But ultimately when we get up there we just know how to have a good time with each other and, and it's not you know canned smiles and stuff like that. It's the real thing. I think what we really want to do is try and expose the rest of the country to New Mexico music through what we do. Um, there are so many festivals uh, and, uh, and uh, venues and events on the east uh, part of the, the country that have really never been exposed to what kind of music we have out here and, and uh, or what we can bring to the kind of music that they already enjoy. Um, it's our own little twist and I think that we really want to be able to just push that um, and to get them to see, hey, New Mexico has good musicians too. certainly have wonderful music that has its roots right here in New Mexico. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of folks who have moved into the area who are bringing different styles, and um, it's exciting to see what's going on in New Mexico music right now. There's a lot more breadth than people realize. Mexico is a force to be reckoned with. I mean, we do have so many different eclectic sounds um, that we pull from. You know, there are traditions and roots um, from forefathers, from the Irish music, from bluegrass music back east. But uh, I think that um, uh, we, as New Mexicans, as much as anybody else, does take that and make it our own and pull upon different things. Music does not have to be just um, one dimensional, but that we can really take it and shape it and make it something different and that, uh, and that we can bring our own styles and our own passions to, uh, to the rest of the country and the world. Mm -hmm. pretty much drained after every performance, but we come back and, and we just sit there and, and talk to each other and say, wow, that was really cool. We love how the audience responded to this. And one of the things Adam often says is um, leave it all there on the stage. That's really his um, philosophy and passion. And when we go out on that stage, we need to throw everything in and leave it all there so that when we walk off that stage, we have nothing left. And so that's, I think that's what we try to do.
certainly as a musician, I'm excited about everything that's happening um, in the, the music industry here in New Mexico and the film industry, but that also opens up opportunities for photography, for the wonderful artists we have. The whole artistic community has so many more opportunities because of what the Film Commission and the New Mexico Music Commission are making available for us.